Well, we are calling this Dominique Week as we get ready for a TV news legend's final sign-off. My co-anchor and my friend Dominique will anchor her final newscast tomorrow, so make sure you're watching tomorrow yeah. night at 6 o'clock. Time flies. Man, that got here fast. <laughs> Way too fast, what? right? Yes. Th almost 30 years like that. Like that. Uh, but we're not waiting for tomorrow to celebrate, Dominique. Let's bring in our friend Andy Sirota. And Andy, you know that Dominique, she loves our community. Chris, a thousand percent. Right. Dominique, one of the many reasons why you are so adored is your love of community, of the community, for the community. It's the very essence of who you are. For members of one particular group, your lasting impact is something they will always cherish, a group that is very close to your heart. We're going to talk about hard conversations. Through the years, Dominique shared with us the story of No More Victims and Marilyn Gambrell, who spearheaded the program. This is critical outreach for students of incarcerated parents, students dealing with immense hardship in the home. Dominique may not have realized it at the time, but her first impression would become her lasting impression her warmth and that unique way she has of connecting with people that makes them feel special resonated not only with the group's founder. The kids adored her. She was so compassionate and so kind and, and the way that she interviewed, they decided they wanted her to be a part of our family. So she got voted in and is an official part of our family. She really cares about humanity and she really cares about what goes on in our community. To us, she's so much more than the newscaster that you see. Kevin Harper, a former student who is now a national representative for No More Victims, says he will never forget the first time he listened to Dominique speak at one of their events. He had to go on stage right after her. Watching someone like that, it was an inspiration. It gauged how I wanted to present myself. I remember just having that conversation with her and her mom. Um, kind of inspired me to continue speaking for the org, continue being a representative. Pierre Davison, the group's former president, shadowed Dominique for a day at KPRC2. It was just wonderful, and she really showed that she was caring. It's clear. Her ability to engage struck a chord with these young men. They felt heard. Dominique let them know their voice matters. She's a sister, she's family. As Dominique embarks on this new journey, Marilyn and members of the organization are beyond excited to see where it leads. What I would like to say to Dominique is, Dominique, I absolutely love you. And I will be buying your book immediately but we wish you so much success and you're part of our family so uh, this is for life you are my hero we love you dominique Mwah. Mwah. how's oh that for a send-off i know and when marilyn said you got voted in as part of the family i mean she meant it there was a swearing in process yes. they all stood up and took the oath with you yeah it's a big deal it is not something taken lightly and it's truly an honor for me to be a part of that organ i'm so proud of them i'm mm -hmm. so proud of those children they're amazing people and they're just as proud as you oh you guys good work d <laughs> thank you good thank work. you